One thing that pros taught me is this move. It's not random where you try and full piece the wall on their bottom layer. Wow, I mean, talk about perfect execution. Holy smokes. At the time of making this video, if you're watching this in the new chapter, which is chapter four, it's still gonna apply, but I'm making it in chapter three right now, just FYI. I know it's long, but it's edited really well and I like the music in it. I'm on my alt account, only got 2000 points. I'm gonna show you guys simplistic ways of approaching people's boxes and how I go about box fighting people when I see them just like one-on-one -on -one rolling up an arena and I wanna fight someone. So pretty much if you wanna learn how to take fights, I'm gonna try and dumb it down in this video to be as simplistic as possible. Come by my stream if you have any questions and also use code KenBeans to buy the new battle pass when a new chapter comes out because I'm pretty excited for that myself. All right, so first, I mean, we got to get off spawn. Got to survive that. Here we go. We're going to sneak up. Oh my. Oh, the fact that we're getting out of this somehow is unbelievable. Got him in that box. Pretty nice. All right, so here we go with this guy. We got two people here. I'm gonna grab the height. And do that. <laughs> that was, all right, those, that kid was really weak. The goal is to get a lot of examples in here because I want it to be realistic at the same time. All right, let's approach this fight. There's a guy right below me. I'm gonna land right on him. Cone him. Start out by trying to peace control towards him. Just hold my gun out. Like that. Hold it out. Most people, especially if they're kind of newer to the game, they're just gonna be really anti to shoot you. That's one thing I've noticed like doing these. Oh my god, did I just get sniped out of the air? I'm gonna stay ahead of zone, land right on this guy, and he's healing right away, so I'm just gonna instantly try and take a wall. And then hold the peak really nice. That's that. When people are boxed up like that, for the most part, all you gotta do is just try and take a wall. Because it seemed like I had the advantage since that guy was just healing up. I'm gonna run on this guy. Right, alright, drop down, smack the wall. Right away, you guys saw like aggressively trying to take a piece. It doesn't really matter what side of the box you take. As long as you know there's no third parties around, you can go for any side you want. Okay, guy right here. Perfect. Boxed up and everything. I see that he doesn't have a cone on top of his box. So I'm going to go for that piece control right away. I'm going to land right here. Now I'm going to take a top. This guy's probably going to make an edit on me. Notice how I'm swinging the pickaxe before I touch the ground. That's what helps you get the wall faster. Now I drop down on this wall confidently and no matter what edit he makes, I just smack on the wall where I can actually hit it and grab it back. Now there's another guy over here. So let's head over here without dying maybe. Oh my. <laughs> he doesn't exactly know where I am. So I'm just going to crouch. I should have my shotgun out, but. Now I could just take a wall probably right here with this gun. Going up top, drop in. Now, instead of going on the same edit, I went from above. So that way he, you saw he was looking forward. Small little things like that. Just make him confused. Okay, so here's the next guy. All right, here we go. Grab any piece control I can get. Little GG. Oh crap. Oh wow, that was the win. What the? F How many people are coming here? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Rolling up to this guy's box. First thing I'm going to do is probably grab height. Okay, now he's, he's built fighting me. So I'm going to mantle. Cone. Every time I attack someone, the first thing I try and do is grab the height. But I react quickly enough and really focus on their movement so I can predict whether or not I need to just box fight them or bill fight them. All right. How are we going to approach this guy? We're going to let him come to us, make the first move. Going to box because it looks like he could have had a good angle. Oh. Now 
Now we're going to jump in. One thing I did with that guy right there was let him edit so I can shove a wall in his face. That's probably the easiest thing to do in box fights. Even really good pros fall to that same thing. And God knows I do. Future Ken Beans right here. And I just wanted to mention real quick that the reason why that I was so far away from this guy in this box was so that I can phase the stare above him every time. When he started spraying into my box, I got nervous that he would kind of run at me. So by changing the direction of the stare, it would make it harder for him to do that. And that gives me time to make the right edit. Being patient on that stair edit too. Trying to set up a good peek without like getting lasered and shot because sometimes people rush that as well. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, is there another guy here? Okay, nice. Create two boxes right away. Get some good space. Oh, he's down here. He's waiting for me. Take a wall that he just reset. Now he's still stuck there. <laughs> he gave up. <laughs> but that's another really simple way to start fighting someone. Whenever they reset a wall, that's going to be the first wall that I try and take because it's weak and it makes it easy to take. Usually it's going to be one pickaxe after a reset. All right, so he goes to box up. Nice. Ready? So I'm going to peace control one side, drop down on another side, and just destroy him with right hand peaks. Hold my shotgun out because he's probably going to make an edit. Swing once. Swing twice because he didn't do anything. And the reason why I did some peace control in the beginning was to kind of make him go in a direction where I can predict. So I'm limiting the sides he can run out of since I technically have a pre-box there. Makes him a little nervous. Okay, this guy's really scared. He doesn't want any part of this. Like, come on, my guy. Now we focus on this last guy. Really, really protective peaks. And that, that's mainly what comes down to the practice in the Raider maps. But you saw how I just instantly, well, no matter what he does, I run to my right hand peak and I just sit there and make it a hard shot. All right, we got a guy down here. This is perfect. Another way I approach box fights, like as you're going to see right here, I'm always trying to find an open wall or something that they left open so I can place it myself. You'll notice I'm placing the wall downwards as I'm falling so that it places faster rather than me touching the ground and then looking up to place it. I'm dropping. Get a nice little peek. Now he's probably going to make an edit. Taking this because I almost... Now we just wait because he's going to jump because he's probably scared. And then that's when he's dead. So the reason why I knew this guy was going to jump, because once someone's full piece, the average person is just going to try and go for this little shot here. Now, if you play patient, they're just going to jump randomly and they're never really going to be able to time it. They're going to think they're going to time it, but they're never actually going to time it because you're going to wait for them to jump. Oh, my God. I've saw it the whole time. That was pretty crazy. Make this really simple. Build fight. So based off the last time I talked, I, now I'm kind of pairing it together. I'm jumping over this guy's box using the sprint, and then I'm hard looking down to place a wall that he doesn't have yet. Go on the backside. Keep going. Now I'm going to slow this down because I did it so fast, but this is literally a very simple thing to do. Just hold your cone out. You can get the cone through their box. They have to be in the air though, which he was right here. Put a cone in his box. Easy enough. Now, I know I made that look super, super simple. The biggest thing I can mention in that fight was the fact that I literally never stopped moving even after I cracked him. Here we go again. He's going up. I heard him. See, that's, some, that's what I do a lot of the times. I let people edit on me so I can shove a wall. And then you saw me edit that wall. And then I go in, jump in with the full piece. Even if I didn't want to jump into his box, just the simple thing, just place a wall, leave, relocate. Makes that fight really easy. So even when I get peace controlled, I don't panic, right? Because I have an escape route in my head. So when it comes to approaching people in a box fight, you'll notice I'm fighting this guy and I'm kind of switching to my pickaxe, my gun, my pickaxe, my gun. So instead of doing all this and trying to swing my pickaxe, the second I got the wall weak, I backed up and took it with my AR so I could do it from a distance. Oh, wow. Woo! Let's go! I've switched up the skin. You know what this skin reminds me of? Avatar. How, like, there's a normal person version of it, and then there's, like, the alien version of it. It's kind of fire. Oh, it's so over. Oh! <laughs> 
So when it comes to approaching a guy like this in a fight, you're going to see how when he gets a wall that I thought I placed, I go directly above him and try and claim two pieces at once. Ready? He's probably going to relocate, switch up the walls. Easy peasy. The little fake out to be on one wall and then he edits it so I can just take it really quick. As long as you don't hesitate when you do something like that, chances are it's going to work. Also, you got to remember I had the health advantage as well. Jump right on him. Claim the high wall. Okay, so here we go. Drop down. Watch the third parties and then go for a wall. If he shoots, I just do that. Guy camp in here somewhere. Oh wow, he was right there. I'm gonna say outside this box. So I was saying, I was saying outside that box. So that way, even if he does try and like full box me, I won't be in that box, but I'll still have a shot. You know what I'm saying? Hold this angle just in case he runs out. I have an angle here, and I could shoot and place a floor. Okay, I'm gonna place it up there though. Always the move I go to is just shoot, place floor right away. On controller, I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit more difficult. At least when I was practicing on controller. Was a Wait a minute. Okay, we got a guy right here. We're going to run at him. That's another move I do. I'll slow that down, maybe rewind it for you. Okay, I'm getting third party. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up the angle which I attack the box, right? So... You might make an edit like this. And he does. That way I don't get third partied and everyone's happy. Okay, so we got this guy on the run. Ready? Go back to this wall. Always going around to walls that he doesn't have placed, right? Make him nervous, make him panic, and then he just makes it stupid at it. I'll rewind that real quick too so you can see what I'm talking about. Like I was constantly wrapping around that guy's box and I was going to a wall that wasn't yet placed. So it makes him really nervous. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to be aggressive. Wait, maybe I can get a sneak fry. It's always worth to rat a little bit. Real quick, when I roll to this guy's wall, notice how I'm staying to the right so that if he doesn't edit that's a right hand peek, it's gonna be hard for him to see me at first, so it'll give me time to take it with my pickaxe. Boom. That was the move I was talking about earlier where I think he made an edit like this, and I just snatched the wall and I was able to just claim peace control. Okay, so this guy's rolling up. And he just got sniped. All right, ready? So we're gonna locate him first. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna run. Spray this SMG. And then go from a different wall now. And the reason you go to a different wall is because it's going to make them stutter and it's going to have to make them follow you for just a split second to realize what edit they need to make. And that gives me enough time to make another move. So I'm going to jump down on this guy right away. Now we're going to go for a little cleep. So I'm just going to keep height, use my mats. It looks like he ran out because he tarped the whole thing. Let's go! Hey, right off spawn. Play my angles. You should be right here. Bro. Alright, so mission uh, backfired. One thing that pros taught me is this move. It's not random, where you try and full piece the wall on their bottom layer. Wow, I mean, talk about perfect execution. Holy smokes. He's just sitting there waiting for me to make a wide open edit. Optimal beans coming in clutch right there. I'm going to fly directly on his head and see how this goes. Ready? So I got a piece right there. So that means I'm going to double edit. And now he's probably going to make an edit on a different side. And that's wraps. Oh, lordy, lord, lord. Okay, so this guy's gonna hop right on me. He's just trying to run right in. Wow. Okay. Now we need to create room. Four boxes. Because I'm a nerd like that. And I'm gonna get my space. 
Now I got an amazing crack because I played patient. So now what I'm going to do is attack this guy from the back. It was smart though. I was naturally going on the back side of that guy that I just killed, which made it so the third party couldn't really look at me. In the beginning though, I gave myself good space and I played behind a very good peak, which allowed me to get a crack when he made an edit. This guy's probably going to jump in on that weak wall. Make sure I got fourth bullet. I'm going to get pushed. And there we go. Really good protected peak right there. But I'm going to bring the fight to him. I'm going to run out and scope out the... Okay. All right, so he's going to heal, but he's probably going to beam me as I go up. But honestly, I'm taking that risk. And he missed every shot. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is crank up. I'm going to do this like in the most simplistic way. Okay. Yeah, like see, it was mainly... I had some fancy retakes in the beginning, right? But you could see like I was like, okay, let me make this simple. I'll just do literally ramps up and just turn around. Turn around, look and just scope out like what's behind me and get a feel for how this guy is pushing me. That makes it really easy for me to understand like what I have to do next. All right, so he's in this cone, right? So what I'm gonna do, block off the third party, just like so, and spray this no matter what edit he makes. He won't be able to shoot me from it, so I was completely safe. He would have had to drop down if he wanted to play it safe. Oh my God, he was in a bush. All right, this is good though. Give myself good space. And I'm gonna heal. I'm show you how to play this. The pod's this big because it doesn't look like he's doing much. I can just take height. Making him nervous. Now he's in zone, healing off. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy come. Okay. <laughs> but you saw how, even though I got shot, it was last guy, like, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna play calm and create my space and give myself time to heal. All right, we got a guy right here, and right off the bat, it's off spawn, right? And I have, like, almost three kills. For the most part, I know that I'm more stacked than this guy. So I'm just gonna use that to my advantage and get that kill. I mean, that guy wasn't the greatest, right? But let's say he was, that would give me a lot more confidence rolling up into that fight. That's a little trick I use to make sure I'm confident when I'm fighting someone off spawn. What the? <laughs> Yo, I got some crazy people in here. So I know this video is long and the watch time on is probably gonna be terrible but i actually really like the music in here it flowed pretty well so i said screw it drop a like so it actually helps out the video do better use code kenbeans for the battle pass in a new chapter too and i'll see you guys in the next video peace let's go